Hi everyone, Young Demo here. I'm going to be teaching you today how to install Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill, the original, on your Windows 10 PC, as well as install the No CD patch for speedruns, or just for your casual enjoyment. So to do this, you're going to need uh, a few files. You're going to need a program called WinRAR uh, to extract the patch. Uh, you're going to need you know, the Secrets Can Kill discs uh, or a digital download. And then you're going to need the No CD patch, which I will have linked in the description. It's also pinned in the Nancy Drew Speedrunning Discord under the Secrets Can Kill channel. But, so let's get started. So first, how to install it. So first you want to go to uh, your PC. Let's find it here. You see? And then you want to go to your hard drive and you want to go to Program Files 86. Right click in here and make a new folder and just call it Secrets Can Kill or SCK. Uh, I'm going to call it for short. And just have that file there. So now what you want to do is go to your disk drive and look for the setup application, which is right here. Double click that, and it should auto run the installation. Then from here what you want to do is once you get to the destination folder, you want to click browse, go to program files 86, and find the SCK folder you just created. Make sure it's going to there. Next. Next. And then click no. And then just let it install. And I will skip ahead to the end. Alright, now that this is done, um, we're going to, let's open up the game really quickly. And if I start a new game, uh, wherever the thing is, just get the cutscene. There we go. You can see that if we say go to school, we'll need to enter CD2. Um, now what this no CD patch does is it makes it so the gameplay is smooth, you don't need to transition discs. Uh, so I have the no CD patch in my downloads. Let's go here, right here. So you want to open it and then extract the game.exe. You can either click extract or you can um, click extract too. Let's have it go to desktop. And so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to where your Secrets Can Kill is installed, uh, which again is at PC, Disk Drive, and Program Files 86. And then you want to go to, you want to take a look at the files HD Sound and HD Video. Now these two are going to be very important because that's where all the game files, um, video files, and sound files are stored. So you want to have another tab like this open. And you want to go to your disk drive and click open. Don't do the auto run, but just, just uh, have it open. And you want to go to CD sound copy everything from this folder, click and drag it into HD sound. And this might take a little bit. Make sure that you uh, replace anything it asks, asks you to replace. Alright, and once that's done, 
you want to go to CD video, again copy everything, and then you want to move it all to HD video. Alright, so now that we've got all the video files and audio files from disk 1 onto the computer, you take out disk 1 and then insert disk 2. And again, make sure you pull up the uh, auto run, or not the auto run, but the, uh, the folder when in the computer reads the disk. So open again, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Um, copy all the files from CD video, put them into HD video. Um, this one might take a little bit longer because it is um, it does it does have more files on the disk than disk one did. Uh, so just be patient and I'll skip ahead to the end. And then just do the same again for CD sound. And again, this one shouldn't take as long as video files. Alright, and now that that is done, you want to go to this folder again, the SCK folder, and you'll see the game application. Now you just want to delete that and drag in this game.exe from the other file. Leave it there. And now, with any luck, you should be able to take the disk out of the disk drive, close this out, go to Secrets Can Kill, click the game, and you should be able to run this game no problem. You can go to the school, if it works. You could go to the boiler room. No need to switch disks. Just goes. I hope you enjoy the game. I hope this tutorial was helped. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.